Welcome to the zone with the Fight Disciples. I'm Adam Catterall, he's Nick P, and it's time to get hyped up for Kid Galahad against Kiko Martinez taking place on November the 13th in Sheffield. Obviously, Kid Galahad has recently become the featherweight champion of the world. Three months ago, you kind of can afford him to have a voluntary defence in his home city against the former world champion that a lot of fans know. Yeah, listen, I think there's performance winning the title. You know, going into that fight, I think a lot of people, myself included, thought it was going to be a 50-50 fight. It was a big domestic showdown, lots of attention, and he was outstanding. Yeah, he was. It wasn't even close to 50-50. He was absolutely phenomenal from the first bell uh, until the fight was ended. And um, I know I, I, when you get crowned like that, when you work as hard as Kid clearly has to become champion of the world, I can't begrudge him having a homecoming defense and, and let's face it you know this is a this has got to be a voluntary defense here yeah you know, it's not mandated on him so they can pick an opponent let's look at the factors that why kiko martinez is in the frame very familiar to uk fan fight fans incredibly busy career friendly you know, style as well for the fans yeah he's, he's so active you'd think he's like 65 years of age he's Isn't only it? 35 years of age <laughs> but he's so active he's so busy been there done it and wore the t-shirt and this is kind of his last shot as well you know that phone will have rang um you know he lost his alpha barrett last year and he's probably expecting that fight to come back again. Mm. And then the phone rings and boom, you got yourself a world title over in the UK. He must have absolutely bit Eddie Hearn's hand off for that fight. So he's going to turn up. He always turns up, Kiko Martinez. But listen, the champ deserves a homecoming. And this for me is the perfect homecoming. It's also a fight that is an opportunity to build, stop building a superstar. Yes. It's a stacked division. There's some sensational fights that could happen a little bit later down the road. Next on year, the zone. hopefully. This is hopefully an opportunity to build Kid Galahad into a bit of a star. So if they are going to cross over and come over to America and fight the likes of the Emmanuel Navarrettes of this world, yep. then we need some travelling fans to be coming over and supporting the guy as well. So it's an opportunity in his hometown to showcase the talent. Exactly, you know, and you get Lee Wood sitting ringside as well. You get Lee Wood in the ring afterwards. You do a face-off. You set that fight up for early next year. And then, as you say, listen, for me, Kid Galahad proved he's world-class with that performance against Jazza Dickens. That belt was not handed to him. He earned that every inch of the way. And I'm watching that, and I'm the same as you then. I'm like, okay, where's Navarrete? Okay, you know, wh where's Richie the... Lara, where's Josh Warrington, all this. Where's the guys yeah, yeah. in this weight division that are going to define his legacy? So that's to come. That's next year. You know, that's that for sure. Kiko Martinez is first. And listen, I want to be in Sheffield. I want to be part of that party. Let's hope there's one senders then, eh? You know what I mean? Uh, Sheffield, the Steel City, November the 13th for Kid Galahad and Kiko Martinez on the zone.